Chicken Pox Chicken pox is a highly contagious disease caused by the varicella zoster virus, VZD. It can cause an itchy, blister-like rash. Chicken pox is common and mostly affects children, but you can get it at any age. It usually gets better by itself after one to two weeks without needing to see a GP. The rash first appears on the chest, back, and face, and then spreads over the entire body, causing between 250 and 500 itchy blisters. Chicken pox can be serious, especially in babies, adolescents, adults and pregnant women. It affects people with bodies that have a lowered ability to fight germs and sickness, weakened immune system. The best way to prevent chicken pox is to get the chicken pox vaccine. Chicken pox used to be very common in the United States. In the early 1990s, an average of 4 million people got chicken pox, 10,500 to 13,000 were hospitalized, and 100 to 150 died each year. Chicken pox vaccine became available in the United States in 1995. Each year, more than 3.5 million cases of chicken pox, 9,000 hospitalizations, and 100 deaths are prevented by chicken pox vaccination in the United States. How is chicken pox spread? Children can get chicken pox at any age. After being exposed to chicken pox, your child may appear to be fine for one to three weeks before feeling sick. Children can spread the virus from one day before they show signs of illness to about five days after a skin rash appears. The virus is spread by coming in contact with someone who has chicken pox, breathing air from an infected person who sneezes or coughs, coming in contact with fluids from an infected child's eyes, nose or mouth. What is the difference between smallpox and chickenpox? Chickenpox and smallpox are both diseases that produce rashes on the skin, but they are different. For one thing, smallpox is a much more serious disease, causing severe illness and death. They are caused by different viruses. While the two diseases both produce rashes, the rashes themselves develop at different times and the rashes look different. Smallpox pustules look the same as each other, while the chickenpox rash develops in waves. The individual spots don't look the same and some form scabs while others are still blistering. There's another important difference. A massive global vaccination program has eradicated, wiped out, smallpox. Symptoms of chickenpox the itchy blister rash caused by chickenpox infection appears 10 to 21 days after exposure to the virus and usually lasts about 5 to 10 days. Other signs and symptoms, which may appear 1 to 2 days before the rash, include Fever, loss of appetite Headache, tiredness and a general feeling of being unwell, malaise Check if it's chickenpox An itchy, spotty rash is the main symptom of chickenpox it can be anywhere on the body. Chicken pox happens in three stages, but new spots can appear while others are becoming blisters or forming a scab. Stage 1. Small spots appear. The spots can be anywhere on the body, including inside the mouth and around the genitals, which can be painful. Spread or stay in a small area. Be red, pink, darker or the same color as surrounding skin, depending on your skin tone be harder to see on brown and black skin. Stage 2, the spots become blisters. The spots fill with fluid and become blisters. The blisters are very itchy and may burst. Stage 3, the blisters become scabs. The spots form a scab. Some scabs are flaky while others leak fluid. Other symptoms. Before or after the rash appears, you might also get a high temperature, aches and pains, and generally feeling unwell, loss of appetite. Chicken pox is very itchy and can make children feel miserable, even if they do not have many spots. The chicken pox spots look the same on children and adults. But adults usually have a high temperature for longer and more spots than children. It's possible to get chicken pox more than once, but it's unusual. If you're not sure it's chicken pox, check for other rashes in children. How to treat chicken pox at home, important, stay off school or work. You'll need to stay away from school, nursery or work until all the spots have formed a scab. This is usually five days after the spots appeared. Where does chicken pox usually start? 
you usually start getting chicken pox on your face and trunk, your chest and your back. From there, it spreads to the rest of your body. Can I get chicken pox twice? It's rare for anyone to get chicken pox twice, but it can happen. Causes of chicken pox Chicken pox infection is caused by the varicella zoster virus. It can spread through direct contact with the rash. It can also spread when a person with the chicken pox coughs or sneezes and you inhale the air droplets. Risk factors of chicken pox Your risk of becoming infected with the varicella zoster virus that causes chicken pox is higher if you haven't already had chicken pox or if you haven't had the chicken pox vaccine. It's especially important for people who work in childcare or school settings to be vaccinated. Most people who have had chicken pox or have been vaccinated against chicken pox are immune to chicken pox. A few people can get chicken pox more than once, but this is rare. If you've been vaccinated and still get chicken pox, symptoms are often milder, with fewer blisters and mild or no fever. Complications of chicken pox Chicken pox is normally a mild disease, but it can be serious and can lead to complications including Bacterial infections of the skin, soft tissues, bones, joints or bloodstream, sepsis Dehydration, pneumonia, inflammation of the brain, encephalitis, toxic shock syndrome Ray's syndrome in children and teenagers who take aspirin during chicken box, death How is it spread? Very easily you can get the virus by breathing in particles that come from chicken pox blisters or by touching something on which the particles landed. Chicken pox is most contagious from 1 to 2 days before the rash appears until all the blisters are dried and crusted. The best way to prevent the spread of the virus is to get the varicella vaccine. Children who've never had chicken pox should get two doses of the vaccine, the first at 12 to 15 months of age, and the second between ages 4 and 6. People over age 13 who've never been vaccinated should get two doses of the vaccine at least 28 days apart. How is chicken pox diagnosed? Signs of chicken pox are easy to see. Doctors often can look at a child's skin and know if they have chicken pox. Can chicken pox be fatal? It's very unlikely that you will die from chicken pox. Most people recover without complications. However, people have died from chicken pox. In the US, that number has dropped to about 20 people per year after mass vaccinations from some 100 deaths per year before vaccines were available. Hospitalizations decreased 84% from over 10,000 per year. Can my child get a shot to prevent chicken pox? Yes, there's a vaccine for chicken pox. It's recommended, so ask your doctor about the vaccine. What should I know about the chicken pox vaccine? Two doses are recommended. When your child is under the age of 13, they should get one dose between the ages of 12 and 15 months, and the second between the ages of 4 and 6 years. If you're 13 or older and never got the vaccine, you should get two doses at least 28 days apart. There is a vaccine that's only for chicken pox called Verivax. There is another called ProQuad that protects against measles, mumps, rubella and varicella MMRV. Vaccination is over 90% effective at preventing chicken pox. Who shouldn't get the chicken pox vaccine? There are people who shouldn't get the chicken pox vaccine. You shouldn't get the chicken pox vaccine if you 1. Are allergic to the vaccine or to any part of the vaccine. 2. Are pregnant or think you might be pregnant. 3. Have problems with your immune system. 4. Have tuberculosis. 5. Aren't feeling well. Get the vaccine when you feel better. 6. Recently had a blood transfusion or any other live vaccines. Talk with your healthcare provider about whether or not you should be vaccinated. Can adults get chicken pox? When children get chicken pox, their bodies fight the illness by making a substance called antibodies. The antibodies fight the virus and help the body get well. These antibodies stay in your body throughout your life. If an adult comes in contact with the virus, the antibodies are there to fight the germ. In adults, the chickenpox virus, varicella zoster, can become active again. When that happens, it causes an illness caused shingles. 
people catch shingles from their own chicken pox virus. People who have shingles can spread chicken pox to people who haven't had chicken pox. However, you can't get shingles unless you've had chicken pox. Shingles is also called herpes zoster, but it's not the same as genital herpes. Like chicken pox, it looks like a rash made up of small bumps. Shingles can be painful and can take a while to heal. It will usually go away on its own in a week or two. There are vaccines to prevent shingles. Talk to your doctor to see which one is right for you. During chicken pox, do Drink plenty of fluid, try ice lollies if your child is not drinking, to avoid dehydration. Take paracetamol to help with pain and discomfort. Cut your child's fingernails and put socks on their hands at night to stop them scratching. Use cooling creams or gels from a pharmacy. Speak to a pharmacist about using antihistamine medicine to help itching. Bathe in cool water and pat the skin dry, do not rub. Dress in loose clothes. During chicken pox, don't. Do not use ibuprofen unless advised to do so by a doctor, as it may cause serious skin infections. Do not give aspirin to children under 16. Do not go near newborn babies, people who are pregnant and people with a weakened immune system, as chicken pox can be dangerous for them. Do not scratch the spots, as scratching can cause scarring. Treatment of chicken pox. In otherwise healthy children, chicken pox typically needs no medical treatment. Your doctor may prescribe an antihistamine to relieve itching. But for the most part, the disease is allowed to run its course. If you're at high risk of complications. For people who are at high risk of complications from chicken pox, doctors sometimes prescribe medications to shorten the length of the infection and to help reduce the risk of complications. If you or your child is at high risk of complications, your doctor may suggest an antiviral drug such as acyclovir, Zovirax, Citivig. This medication might lessen the severity of chicken pox when given within 24 hours after the rash first appears. Other antiviral drugs, such as valacyclovir, Valtrex, and femcyclovir, also may lessen the severity of the disease, but might not be approved or appropriate for everyone. In some instances, your doctor may recommend getting the chicken pox vaccine within 3 to 5 days after you've been exposed to the virus. This can prevent the disease or lessen its severity. Treating complications If complications develop, your doctor will determine the appropriate treatment. He or she may prescribe antibiotics for skin infections and pneumonia. Brain inflammation, encephalitis, is usually treated with antiviral drugs. You may need to be hospitalized.